What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So apparently, Vixen the Assassin has joined OnlyFans. That's another. That, that's another way of saying pornography. Because on OnlyFans, you can do whatever. You can put on a show, exotic, butt naked. It's nothing but porno, okay? Basically, that's what it is. So she joins her OnlyFans where people could actually pay to see her unveil herself and whatever else she wants to do on that page. So apparently it's now some big deal, a big fuss about what she put on OnlyFans to her supporters who support her own OnlyFans have been leaked. So somehow her new pictures are going around. My thing is, okay, what's the big deal? And when you uploading on social media, what do you think going to happen? Especially when you are a public personality. She did it on purpose so that she can get money off of her reputation and whatever influence she may have had. So she used her name, reputation, and influence to start her OnlyFans to show that she was going to unveil herself to bring money to herself. So we know that whoever was going to support financially on OnlyFans was going to not only download what they could or video record what they could, that they were going to release it to the public. That's what happens all the time. This is not something strange. This ain't something shocking. This is what happens all the time. And you have to know that that's going to happen. A person can do what they want. When you grown, as long as you ain't violating nobody or breaking no laws, I see it. I, I see it. I get it. However, my only thing about the situation is not so much that somebody leaked the, leaked the footage and pictures. It's knowing that you a mother and got children. And it, can, and it should never get that bad where you have to do that to bring shame on your family and your children. Even though some people don't even care about that. Some people don't care about that. Some people don't care that they got kids. Some people just love that all that almighty dollar to them. To the point that it becomes natural. Like some, some, some upbringings or where you're from, these things are natural. Like when we were coming up, our aunties used to walk around the house and things with their titties out and things like that. And we was little boys. And, and they thought it was nothing because it was natural to them. That was a part of their upbringing. But now when I see how life is and I'm wise, that's not right. Even though you may have been comfortable with it, that's not right. So sometimes you can be desensitized to your upbringing of what you've been exposed to, that you condition to what it is. And I see a lot of people like that, a lot of women like that. A lot of women don't mind bringing guys in and out of their house around their children. Then you wonder why a lot of these young girls be getting raped and molested. Some of these women don't mind smoking and drinking in front of their kids. Even though you know secondhand smoke is bad for the children. Even though you know, no, you leading by example. So children are like sponges soaking up anything that they see because that's what they remember the most. Not so much of what was said, but what they saw. Some women don't, don't, don't think nothing of it. Some women don't think nothing of it at all. They don't see nothing wrong with prostituting themselves around their children. They don't see nothing wrong with that, bringing guys in and out of the crib, smashing them around their children. They don't see nothing wrong with that. In fact, they encourage it. I know some that do that. Some women entirely different. 
They don't bring strange men around their children. They don't drink and smoke in front of their children. They protect the innocence of their children of what they listen to, what they watch. I remember growing up and we were young watching porno movies, watching rated R movies, just destroying us as children. I remember that. I had no business watching Freddy Krueger and Jason at the age I was. And then our mama and them having an attitude with us because we scared of the dark. Because we like sleeping with the lights on. And you just sitting there with us as grown adults watching rated R movie because you want to watch the movie. Because you want to watch the movie, you got us watching the movie with you. We seeing stuff we don't supposed to see. Adults having sex with each other, curse words flying around, and we become conditioned to it that it becomes normal. And we believe it as being normal when it's not normal. It's stupid. It's ignorance. And what happens is you are exposing these children to things they shouldn't be exposed to. Then you wonder why they grow up practicing these things that they saw on one another without having the knowledge of what was actually happening and taking place because they're not being educated and taught. And I see a lot of a lot of these people do this and they don't even think about the children. They don't think about the future. All they care about is right now. And they don't know how to go out and get it the right way. So they try to make sure they get it the easy way. Even at the expense of shame and embarrassment, hurt. Yeah, man. I mean, this happens a lot, man. I see this happens a whole lot. Terrible. Terrible. I see so many of these things happen. Women cursing out their kids. I'm talking about your, your, your child, three, four years old. You just cussing, shit your ass down. I'm finna beat your ass. Motherfucker, get out of here. Lord, forgive my language. Calling them bitches, calling them whores, calling them sluts, calling them tramps, calling them niggas. It's what they calling kids. Calling kids this. And let me just tell you, I was guilty of some of this. I used to say that to my son. And then when I had my son, I'm like, yeah, this is my little nigga right here. This is my little nigga. I didn't know no better because I never really had a father in my life to raise me, to teach me the right way, to guide me, to lead by example. So I became a product of my environment. I became a product of my environment. That's how I'm talking to my sons now. And I'm thinking that it's cool, it's real. When in reality it's not because I was programming them to be niggas. I was programming them to be niggas rather than being upstanding, strong, black, wise men. Knowing that they was already at a disadvantage. And in my ignorance, I was programming them and leading them on a path of wrong. So yeah, we become desensitized and we become a product of our environment. Upbringing play a lot on how these situations are. And then people could be so stubborn and stuck in their ways, you can't teach or tell them nothing. Because they programmed. And when they have made up in their mind that this is what they want to do, ain't nothing you can tell them. Yes, I've been a victim to this. Facts. I saw it all the time. I saw it all the time. And it can be natural to people. So while people was making a big fuss out of vixen, only fans, I'm saying, what about the children? What about your kids? Like, what about the shame and embarrassment of that? And, and, and let's just keep it real. I'm not saying her per se, but a lot of these women don't care about these kids. They say they do, but they don't. Because they never consider their actions. Men too. This ain't just women, men too. Never consider their actions or the shame that they not only bring on themselves, but also on your children, the embarrassment. That ain't right. That ain't right. But it's life, and it's what goes on in life. It's something that 
we have adapted to and allowed ourselves to accept. But what's happening is when you come to the point of change and when you come to the knowledge of God, you begin to reprogram yourself. You begin to operate on a whole nother different frequency. Now you think about life. Now you think of power. Now you think about stability. Now you think of hope. Now you think of giving. Now you think of trying. Now you think of loving. Now you think of power. Now you think of how to actually turn things around. Because you understand first how you've been deceived. Glory to God for that. And that's what I think about in these situations. What about the children? What about the shame and embarrassment of the children? No child wants to be reminded of their mother and father being whores and prostitutes. You don't want to be tied into that. You don't want to know your mama be getting bust down. You don't be wanting to know your daddy be with everybody and got all these strange kids everywhere and things like that. You don't be wanting to know that. You don't be wanting to have a part of that. But the sad thing about it is that it's, it's actually going on every day all around us. But as long as you're alive, it's never too late to change. And I think about those things like that. Consider y'all children. Man, I get so much stuff to me, it ain't even funny, man. I'm keeping it 100. So when, so when people making a big deal about Vixen pictures and stuff being leaked, Man, I got naked pictures of Yoshi, Hustle, Bonnie, and I don't ask for that stuff. By me being in battle rap media, people send me that stuff. You saw this? You saw this? I don't even be knowing what it is. T-Top, Baby Mama, and them, I ain't know what that stuff was. To, it's already, I'm clicking on the link like, dang, like, what? Is this real? Yeah, man, I can't put this out, and I'm not putting this out. See, that's the thing about me. I ain't shifty and dirty like that. I am put that stuff out. No. I knew about Jazz and QP before it even came out. I had already had the video footage. Years before y'all even knew about it. Never put it out. Never put it out at all. I literally got pictures of these women. And videos. Never put that stuff out. Never put it out. Because, I, first of all, you can't put it out. Let's just be honest. That's another thing. So when they like, oh, Vixen Pictures leak, you can't show it on Instagram. You can't show it on YouTube. You can't show it on Facebook. So you ain't going to really get nothing from it. Like, again, but she also had to know that when she was doing it, that that was going to happen. It, she ain't the first one that happened to. And I'm pretty sure she got knowledge of it. So what makes you think it wasn't going to happen to you when it was done to other people before you? Like, come on. Same thing with the guy not too long ago, the Adam 22, allowing his wife to be with Jason Love, the porno dude, even though they all porno dudes. They did that and took it to OnlyFans. It's all over the internet now. <laughs> OnlyFans. I ain't got to go to OnlyFans to buy that. Type it up. Click it up. There you go. Now it's everywhere. Like, no. Of course. The moment you put this on social media, if a person know how to get to it, it's going to be everywhere. It ain't no locked in privacy. If I could see it, everybody could see it. If I could get it, everybody could get it. Simple as that. I'm just keeping it 100. That's how that go. And all I'm saying is, think about the kids, man. We live in a world where, man, these kids ain't standing a chance, man. The most dangerous place for a child is actually in their own home. Ain't that sad? Ain't that crazy? You figure that a child's supposed to be protected. It be in the home. Where they manipulated. Where they physically abused. Where they mentally abused. 
where they deceived and lied to. And that's the sad thing about it all. And that's the sad thing about it all. Think about the kids, man. Think about the kids. Terrible, man.